Hi, I'm Don Gay, and I want to say thanks for choosing my worst wrecks at Mesquite Rodeo home video. These are my picks from the worst crunches from last season at Mesquite. Now, if you like your rodeo with a touch of crash, then I think you're going to love this year's tape. Let's get things rolling with my favorite event, the bull riding. Well, I don't like this old bull. Now, he's a little flat when he turns back. He's pretty new, but now he will run over you, and he just... Bull is that mean to me, and... Oh, oh look Mike, out, get look up, out. Mike, keep rolling. Look at Ron Craver lead that bull off. Mike's out oh, of air, but he knows boy. that... Uh, look out. Oh. <laughs> He'd have hit that barrel. Frank McElvain Sr. would have wound up in the cheap seats. He'd have been out of air himself. Mike Friend took a real shot. No score. You can see him helping him. And, Donnie, I don't know how people get up and run when there's no air in them, but I guess if a bull's coming at you, you can do it. Well, self-preservation takes over. A guy can do nearly anything. But now Mike just gets reared back, head comes up. He doesn't have his heart in this. If he'd have known this was gonna happen, he'd have oh. horn hit him right square in the back. Now watch this, the bull steps look all around that. him. Just lucky he doesn't step on him. Let's take another look. Now, when you hit that ground roll, get moving. The horn just whacks him in the back. And look, he stepped all the way around him. It's a game of inches. The cowboy on his back is Kevin James from Stephenville, Texas. If I still riding, I like this bull. He, usually, he turns back and, he, and he, he kicks real good. He's got some time, and he's the kind you can score high on. Kind of a bad start. Uh oh, with Whoa, his feet out. Kevin. Turn back to the right. That, that little bull is coming on. We'll get to see more of him. He's got the... Remember that glove in the first section, that NFR bound? There's a couple of these younger bulls that, that you know, they've got that branded on their horns. And a quick bull, oh, what these stumbles now, coming now, on the shoe. It's, it's a bad shot for, for uh, Kevin right out of the gate because he kind of stumbled, but see his right foot? It just blew out. You know, a lot of things can happen to cause that, but now, hey, look, Mom, no hands. Up, down, <laughs> hey, it's a game of inches. He's not hurt. That's just bull riding right there. And his name's Tough. Come by that honestly. We bought the bull from Tough Hedeman. He was bucking this bull to practice. He said he's a little much to be practicing on, but now you can see why Tough oh, rides so whoa, good. Jerk him down, run over him, hook him. Get up, Jeff. Keep moving, Jimmy Anderson. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. He's lucky. That bull's big and heavy. He rubs his head. No score. Whew. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Donnie, he got a shot from the horns. Watch this back right here. Let's just check this out. Little jump, he's okay. Big jump, oh, slam, man, whack, right hit there. with that horn. Now, keep moving. Look at Jeff. He, look at that. Oh, look how close that come. 2,000 pounds come crashing down. Hey, here we go. Now, boom, there it is. Love tap. Now, just keep moving. Keep crawling. You don't ever feel sorry for yourself because it ain't over till it's over. Well, all right, let's go now, Nappy. Keep your chin tucked, body position. All right, whoa, whoa, no, let's Man. call this a double jeopardy. Woo! That it, bull was right oh on boy. top of Nappy. A lot of air there, Nappy's not getting much of it. He looks like he's kind of hurting a little. No score. Woo I'd fan my face a little bit there, Nappy, to get some of that air. Look at this bull. Now, is he mad? Oh, boy. Bang. Everybody heading up the fence on the other side. Nappy gets his... He said, I've had all yeah. this. I can stand. I'm getting out of the arena for it. Goes from bad to worse. Just whipped him down. Lucky missed the horns. And, you know, that looked, that looked wild, looked bad. But, you know, nearly, not near as bad as it looked. He could have hit a horn, didn't. You're looking down on Gunslinger. He's ready to go to work, and the man on his back is Daryl Baker from Keller, Texas. This guy won here once last year with an 82 score. I believe he rode Cobra that weekend. Now, this guy can ride, and he, he's been a little inconsistent. Gunslinger will make you work for it. Whoa, whip oh, down on wow. he's Ow. Ow, boy, got kicked right in the belly. He sure did. Caught one right in the ribs. Daryl Baker looked like he got pulled down, jerked down first, and then kicked. Some days nothing goes right. No score for Daryl Baker. This bull usually comes full circle left. Daryl leaned over there waiting Ooh. on that. He's lucky that bull turned off to the right. Now watch this. Boom, got kicked right in the rib cage. Gunslinger is a tough one. Yeah, we saw the Joker looking up into the camera a while ago. Longoria takes that uh, suicide rap. He plans on riding him now. The Joker will get you. He's not playing. Jumps out of there, crashes the gate, comes around to the left. Longoria's got him locked. Going to spur him a little bit. We're going to get somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now look out, Martin. Tell you what, 
Donnie. This is a rough night for bull riders. That flat spinning won't get you as much points as a bull that's jumping and kicking just in a circle real strong, but they don't nothing make this feel any better. I mean, Man. only shots you got is you know them other two guys, them bullfighters, Anderson and Gillett, they're right there, but they picked a bad spot to get off and put the clowns in an impossible position sure because, you know, the, they can't do anything until they can get to the bull, and he was in under him in the way. This guy is sticky. He rides a lot of bulls, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him ride this bull. Wow. Tipped into his hand there, a lot of effort, whipped down. Whoa, he's in trouble, Lee. man. Hand hung at that bull rope, and look I know bull. Raymond, he's got it in there tight. Oh. Red Rocker, look at Ron Craver. That is bull taking the bull by the horns. We'll get oh. another look at that. There's another one of those hats that needs to go back to the cleaning factory. You see that no score for Raymond Wessel? Up on the fence, and I'll tell you, got beat up pretty good. Let's watch it. This now, bull's head action, Donnie. Look at that. Tip. Raised him up, whipped his feet off. Now, look at Raymond. He's going to keep his feet and stay right in there. He don't panic. This guy's a tough competitor. Stay on your feet now. He's whipped loose. Look at Ron Craven. Reach. He's got Red Rocker right by the horns. That, I like to watch this kind of business because you got a guy that's working and going to take a beating with their, you know, right with you. You can't ask a lot more than that. You see Raymond, his hand is hung in there tight. Look at him. He's right. got the tail of that rope. That is presence of mind. That's a pro. He's a professional. 81 still the score to beat. This is Ty Schaefer on spec. Good kid. This is another young bull that I like. Starts to turn back to the left. Gets by. Look at Jimmy Anderson. Break him around. Out of one time. Yeah. Go ahead. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, what a ball. Don't lay there and feel sorry for yourself. It just goes downhill from there. <laughs> He's trying to beat 81. And he is just kind of hanging on, refocusing everything there. The, the lights are on, but nobody's on. 75 points for Ty Schaefer, still trying to find out where he is. Let's take another look, Donnie. Remember last week, I told yeah. you I liked old Spec, and he was going to spin, start spinning. Watch this. Little help from Jimmy Anderson. Now, look at here. All right, Spec. Oh, Ty, get up, because look at Spec. He's got his target nailed. Another look. Good work, camera guys. Watch this. Now, Ty's going to hit right on his head. Boom. But now, he has got a target sticking up there that Speck sees. That was fun. <laughs> Kate and Cowboys, they all ride pretty good. Here we go. This is a good bullet I really like. 58. Now, look at him. He's down in the well. He's hooked up. Look out. Done. Ron Craver, take him away. He's sticking with it. Right on the other side. Craver stays with it. Excellent job. Look out. Woo, 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 woo. Donnie Gay, this bull is mad. He spun around, actually spun Donnie's hand right out of that rigging, I think. All right, now 58. Wow. He's going to go to the NFR. No score for Donnie Satig, but he's lucky he's got it all with him. Look at that move. Okay, Donnie's trying to ride now. Loosens him up now. Left hand spin down in the well. That's scary. See him hold that bull's head. He kept his, kept his head, wow. Craver right there. The boy did a really good job. This is, let's take another look at this. Now watch, when he goes down in the well, okay, don't panic. He's down in there, okay, I'm gonna take it. I grab him, keep myself on my feet to get my hand out of there. The bull slings him out of there, just like being in a fight, he just one second. Ouch, now watching that makes me glad I'm here and not there. Let's turn now to some guys a bull rider's always happy to see. The rodeo clowns. Now, we call them bullfighters now, but don't let the baggy pants or that grease paint fool you. The work done by these guys is both dangerous and difficult. Bo Warren and the Joker is the bull. All right, now we've seen him win the money on this bull, but we've seen him bite the dust. <laughs> they started a little early and jerks him loose. Starts around to the right now. Left spin, he's gonna go down in the well. Look out, Bo. Man, he's oh, he slammed. Jimmy Anderson takes him away. What a move. Showing you that he's got a little stuff too. The Joker. Wow. Bo Bourne looks like he's all right as he records his no score. All right, let's check this bullfight now. Woody Pro Cell in the bomb shelter. Jimmy Anderson, they got a jump set up here. Come on, look out. Oh, no. Oh, no. You talk about lucky. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah. What was that? The high sign? Okay, we'll take it anyway. Ford Grip comes out of that without an injury, and that was wild. Man. I'd love to see that again. Man. I mean, that was what I would normally say, Kerr Splat. <laughs> Woo-wee, let's go.
let's take a look at the ride, Donnie, and maybe we can see that jump, or so-called jump, one more time. Okay, wow. hey, Bull jumps in the chute, loosens him up. He's loose. Bull gives him a chance. Now, his arm's straight, down in the well. Look out, Woody. Now, get on your feet. Gets punched in the back, slung out. Look at Jimmy Anderson. Take the bull away. Cowboy up, Ford Britt, now watch this from the backside. See Jimmy Anderson, he, he's watching. Now Jimmy's coming, Ooh. look here, right there. Now watch this jump, Ford Britt. <laughs> That'll put a hitch in you get along if you're not careful, but we'll take it, that's rodeo. All right, this bull turned back either way, a little flat, I don't really like this bull. Look out, Shane, get back in the middle. Don't be hanging away from your hand, you're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble, but he got the whistle. Oh, let go, Shane. Come on, look out, Ron Craver. Why is that hit on? Oh, if that bull don't have Ron Craver to hit, he just turns back and just mauls that bull rider. Ron Craver paid for it there. Now, he got hit hard. I think we're gonna get a score, maybe. We are 67 points for Shane, but I'd say old Ron Craver ought to get about an 80. That boy better not lose that mouthpiece. He's gonna hang off the side like that. That one of those bulls are gonna turn back around and, and really put it on you. Now he's just leaning away from his hand. He's in trouble the whole way. He's still in trouble. Now, watch this. Okay, now he's basically hung up. He's trying to undo his wrap. Now, the bull's gonna turn back and get him, but watch this. Watch Ron Craver. He just stays right in front. Now look at here, oh. he takes a tremendous shot and keeps that bull going straight to help Shane give him enough time to get his hand out of the rope. Now, you can't ask a guy to do any more than this. Now he's going, come on, Shane, get your darn hand out of that rigging. You're gonna get us both hooked, we're in trouble, and I don't know if I'd rather have the bull mad at me or Ron. Looks like they're lining up a jump here right now, Donnie, with Strychnine. Jimmy Anderson getting a barrel in position to use as a catapult. Mike Johnson, he's uh, got to be running on something side the natural. Yes. Look out, Strychnine says, where did he go? I'm going to get him yet. Run, Michael, run. Let's watch his back. Now watch him use the, the barrel as, as a catapult up and over, right over the top. Strychnine says, where did he go? <laughs> That's wild. But Jimmy Anderson, and what is he up to? Surely he's not going to jump on this bull. Whoa, man. Oh. You talk about a guy that uh, must have a weird gear to have fun like that. <laughs> that's a little scary. High five for me. I mean, that's, that's cheap thrills right there. <laughs> okay, watch this. Now, look at him. The bull kicks at him, and then he nearly gets stepped on. Now, watch Anderson. He gets up, and he's grinning. Look at him. <laughs> I mean, what a guy. All right, here we come. Bull coming around to the right into Daryl's hand. Now he lines out. Look out, Ron Craver, <laughs> hey! Little Whoa. extra effort there. Daryl Baker, don't make that mistake. David Burnham comes in and saves Ron Craver. Boy, that was close all around. Everybody had to pay attention. Look out, dummy, he's out for blood tonight. Master Blaster had a bead on Ron Craver. And Daryl Baker was trying to hold on through all of that. Gets 63 points for his effort. Well, running over Ron Craver might have distracted the judges. Now the bull yeah. goes out there and makes this right turn. Now he's gonna change direction. He spots Ron Craver. Craver says, oh no, whoa! <laughs> and that's two pretty good rides, Master Bra Blaster. He's working overtime and packing two guys. David Burnham said, well, I better go save both those fellas. He's in trouble, he's blown out before the water gets hot. <laughs> Oh, look out, Ford. Oh, he just got clipped. He's in trouble. Look out, Ford, into the chutes. He oh, must he have took thrown a... him up there. I mean, what a shot. Incredible shot. Right back at it. Oh, and he, oh. he gets kicked. Look out, Ford. You better go back to the drawing board. I think I'd just leave old Mad Max alone. There he is rolling the barrel at him now. Bullfighters uh, <laughs> going overtime tonight. Wow. It's a good way to start it out. Yeah, he never lost his consciousness, Donnie. What he was doing, kept moving those feet, kept rolling around. Frank got a good shot this first section. Let's take another look. Another one of them blue bull ropes. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I just don't like them. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I just I can't help it. Okay, now watch this shot. Clips his legs out from under him. Now, the bull says, okay, you gonna stay there? Well, if you're gonna stay there, I'm gonna Whoa. put it on you. I'm boss here. Terry Gillett trying to get, uh, watch this again. 
Talk now, about you talk them. about uh, that's what you call getting your business horned in on. Frank McIlvain Jr. got something going, Donnie. Well, he's a kind of a, oh, look out, he, did, he needs to get his jump a little higher, and he's got, you never know whether he's hurt. He's the guy who cries wolf all the time, but he came up a little short. Yeah, he's still testing that out. Let's see this back again, let's check. Let's see, a 2.2 on the high jump, uh, but the catapult was good. <laughs> Michael just never was ready for that left turn. He, you know, a lot of times that hump right there, you're sitting right against it, and it's real hard. It'll knock the breath out of you as you see David Burnham make a real smooth professional turn. Oh, he's waving up. He's setting up a jump. Ford Britt coming out all the way over the top. Hey, Ford Britt's either real, real good or he's a court low. That's dangerous now. We man, see oh, man. Got along a little better this time. We saw him land right in the middle of one's head one time earlier this year. Now Woody Procell's gonna give directions. I don't know whether Outer Limits is gonna take any advice or not. See his head come up and just doesn't make that right turn at all. But now he says, oh my goodness, your feet don't fail me now. Keep on running. Let's take another look at this jump. Use the barrel, step over, right over the top. Hey, that was, uh, that was an extra good jump, Ford. All right, there we go, around the left, he's to the outside. Whoa. Slings him out of there, Sticker Wiggins. Look out, Sticker! Ooh, boy, Donnie. God, I like got his business horned in on now. Looked like he caught that right arm to me as he went by him there, and James Hayes went out the back door in a big hurry. There's old Sticker, looks like he's well, feeling a little Didn't pain. really see him hit him, there's no score for James, obviously. He just gets, now, when, Bull turns back, he's already to the outside, and he's just straining, trying to hold on. You're not gonna ride a good bull that way. But, now watch Ron Craver, the bull would have him right there, Sticker covers the cowboy, Craver covers the bull, that's what you do. Now, let's watch see if we right can see arm, this here. Donnie. Okay, he's gonna stick it back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh boy, man. yes, oh man. me! I'd like somebody swinging a crowbar at you. Well, he better bear down, this bull's really been bucking around to the right, he's in the well. Oh, he's down. Ooh, Look man, out, he's keep crawling. Him. Get a hold of him, Ron Craver. Oh, oh let go Ron. of him, Ron. Let go of him. <laughs> That's long enough, yeah. Not if those horns were any longer, Gary might be a lot shorter. He had him. He did have him nailed. He just dropped him down. And you see that no score come up. That's obvious. Now, he just blows back off his rope right out of there. And nearly gets back. Now, slides back down inside. Oh, my, for the feeling that you get. Now, that's no fun, but that's a good effort from that cowboy. Look at Ron and Terry. Now, I don't know how he runs in reverse like that, but he does. Whether they're entertaining 10,000 fans or 2,000 pounds of fighting bull, rodeo bullfighters have one of the toughest jobs anywhere. Now, another group of individuals who have a tough job are the bareback riders. I mean, when you watch them, it looks like a rag doll on a horse, and that's when things go right. When things go wrong, look out. 76 is still the score to beat. You're looking at Mackie Taplin on Rodeo News. Whoa, Whoa he's mashed. Shirts torn. Rough night in Jericho. Now, how can you do that much damage in that short a time, Donnie? Well, Rodeo, you know, that's fun. You got a no score. You got to spur him out. Now, watch this horse mash him against the bucket chute. Oh, okay. Man. You know, he just kind of bumps him a little bit. Got two hands down, smash the dirt. Kind of bumps him a little bit. <laughs> well, well, bumped him a lot then, okay. Oh, it kicked him in the back. That's where he got his shirt torn. Kicked sure him right in the did. back. Is this is Casey Strange on bottoms up, Donnie. Oh, things are starting a little early. Wait till they open the gate, bottoms up. Oh, he's got him no. mashed. He's got him trying to get his head turned all the way around. What a wreck. Good heavens, two good clean shots he took. And Bottoms Up tried to come right up over the top. Look at that mouth on him, Donnie. Wow. What's this? That's a solid rawhide rig and it's pounding him. The horse, wow, Ooh, hits him man. right in the face with the top of his head. Robbie McCarroll on Lonesome Bean having trouble getting out of there, Donnie. He's got a good horse, come on, Robbie. Oh no, blow out, look out, Robbie. And Robbie is upset, but don't be making a mean face at that horse. You're lucky to live over that one. <laughs> no score for Robbie, but uh, hey, he's okay. That's okay. Now look here. Horse gets 
a little bit of a funny start. Now look at Rob. Got his spurs up there, pulling them to the rigging. Oh, and then it's blowout city. And how about that, Greg Luganis? <laughs> that was a full gainer. I mean, there. let's take another look at this. I want to talk about tough guys. You got to put this man in there with the tough guys. Now, that was a full gainer. John Amstoy on Tally Ho. Good story about this horse. Turns back and spins. Yes. This is my daughter, <laughs> Tally Lee's horse. My dad gave this horse Whoa. to Tally when they were both one year old. No. Oh, he's hung in the rigging. Look out, look at Jim Gay. Flip him back over to the other oh. side. What a save. My. Boy, get up shaking your head, Sean, I guess. You ought to go pat Jim Gay on the back. Uh, he likes T-bone steak medium. <laughs> <laughs> you owe him a dinner. I mean, he's shaking oh. his head. He's going, what happened? How'd I get out of that? Man, I was hung up. What happened? That was too close. Look at this horse, Buck. Well, we never did ever get this horse broke. Tally was one. Tally Ho was one. That Now they're five. And she's in the rodeo arena. Tally's cheering him on, trying to get him to buck this guy off. Now he's, he's hung. Now watch right Jim there. Gay. Watch. He's going to ride right here, catch him, reach, wow. flip him over, inside, timing. Let, let's look at that again. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and brag on Jim. You know, yeah. if I'd have known it wasn't any more dangerous than this, look at these pickup men. He's stuck right okay, there. Okay, now, now he's hung. He can't get loose. Watch Jim. Catch the horse. Unbelievable. This horse is really snappy. I think he's a good draw if you've got fast feet. All right, look at the horse jump kick. Get him moving. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. There we go. And it gets going right there at the end. Not bad. The horse race is on. Whoa, watch out okay, for that. Okay, here really. we come. Oh, Jim, he's about to get out run right there. Come on. Oh, no, Jerry. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Head on shot into the chutes. Justin Healer right there. Johnny on the spot. That cowboy went for the pickup man, took his hand out of the rigging, and all of a sudden they made a right turn, and Jerry didn't make it. Everybody turned but Jerry, and he hit that gate full force, Donnie. They are tending to him. Let's take another look at what happened. Now the horse race down the fence. Watch his hand. He takes his hand out and goes for Jim, but he doesn't go ahead and go all the way. Look here. Boom. Boy. Oh. He might have hit that guy's leg to cushion the blow just a touch. We'll get another look here. Oh, no. Boom. I'm talking about get your bell rung. He's up. Unbelievable. He is up. Kevin Wars really wants to ride bucking horses and bulls. Whoa, Ooh, look out. Oh, no. Now, that's like one of them movies, Every Which Way But Loose, Kevin Wars. He just, he's up, Adam, and all right, but he's gonna get a no score for that. Boy, that was quick. I counted uh, about three shots he took, two of them on the hind end and one in the chest from Black Magic. Wow. Okay, here's the spur out. Keep your feet up high. Don't let him get whipped down. Whip that right foot all the way back around. Black Magic just put it on him. I mean, like she meant to. Let's take another look at that. Watch his right foot. Whoo, all the way around. Boom, bounce on that hard rigging. You gotta be tough to enjoy this event. Oh, Robbie Vaccaro. Now, you talk about a guy with an attitude. Okay, let's ride over lefty. Now, he does ride pretty good. Y'all want you, anytime you see a wreck happen, it's because he's spurring at him. All right, yeah, we got to Come on around to the left. That's why we call him lefty. Got him up in the neck. Uh oh, oh. Boy, oh, Robbie got kicked hard. Sure did, and flew off the back and got kicked on the way down. Well, Robbie, you said it. The wreck was on, and you were in it. Ron Craver's over there to check check with Robbie. The Justin Healer's there. Baby just got the wind knocked at him. We can watch it back here and get you an update on Rob. Now he she was riding this. him, Donnie. I mean, we're talking about we're talking about a money ride right here. Coming back, boom. And then, boom, oh. kicks him right in the back as he rolls out of there. You know, that has to hurt. We'll get another look at this. Now, I want you to watch the spur and stroke. It's back to the rigging. His body position is just marvelous. Comes around here looking real good. Now, he just clenches just a little. And his, now, look at this. <laughs> now, you don't think it doesn't have to, you don't have to be tough to be in rodeo. 
Yeah, you thought this might be a good matchup before the rodeo tonight. Yeah, because he rode her a couple years ago and he's got a little confidence, but this horse has grown up in a couple of years. Another one of those ones we've been raising. She's not real easy to ride. He's making a pretty good one there. The horse turns back, hang in there. Look out. Oh! Oh, my. He tried to ride it with two hands and couldn't get it down. Boy, and I mean, there's no score, and that was pretty obvious. You saw lots of daylight, then all of a sudden it was gone real quick. Now watch his spurs. Okay, now, I might not have gave him a, let him go with that. That left foot really bounced on, on the spur out, but he's trying to get a hold. But now whenever you drop your feet down in the belly, that doesn't help you. The spur rails are dull, they roll, they don't lock up. You've got to keep spurring to stay in the middle of these horses. Watch it come down, whips him forward. That'll loosen that bind on that rigging and that glove, and that'll put you on the dirt. And that brown sugar now, she's bucking. 72 the score to beat as you look at Cody Richardson. He's riding Krauser. That's another good little horse. He's not very big, but he is snapping. Okay. Oh, he's got, oh, oh, wow. Let's see. What was that? A one and a half for a game? That was a good one and a half there. No score for Cody. He came out, Donnie had those legs moving, then all of a sudden, his whole body was moving forward. Okay. Now, you see that on the spur out. He didn't really have a hold. I, Let's look at that again. Hi, hi. Okay. Now this is rodeo. Oh. Billy Boudreaux, Mr. Smooth is the horse. All right, Boudreaux didn't draw real smooth. Mr. Smooth is a tough one. He oh, oh my goodness, my. hang on. My. Let's see. Greg Luganis, you are in trouble. We've had Robbie and uh, Billy Boudreaux. They're coming after you with that no score. No score, and watch this last hit on that rigging here. Okay, Mr. Oh, Smooth. You yeah. know, somebody was playing a cruel joke when they named this horse. Wow. Let's have one more look at this, Dan. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. sudden stop, and uh, that makes you rethink your position right there. Mark Montgomery's getting set now on ripcord. All right, Marcus. He had to switch to start right and left handed because he broke his right hand. Break your trailer hits that way. <laughs> Nothing to switch to then. No score for Mark Montgomery. In that last two seconds, it was no hands. Okay, now appropriately named. The horse is named Ripcord. Watch him pull it right there. Kablooey, a blowout. Wow. Mm. He got bucked off twice in the same ride. At least. There's some high See, jumps let, there, See, he let Don. his feet drop down. Oh, man, but you got to go off to the side. You don't want to get kicked out there. Woo. I said, Robbie, I said, now get a hold of this horse and make you a good ride. Oh, he got his feet blowed out a little bit, but look at it. He's trying to ride on now. Oh, Robbie. Look out. Look out, Robbie. Robbie. Oh, no. Somebody. Oh, wow. That's a way to stop him, Jim. Come on. Now, this is dangerous. He's getting stepped on right there. You know, we laugh. And, and, uh, Ricky Bowling's picking up with Jim and nearly ran over him. I don't know how he does it, but he's going to get up. Robbie Vaccaro, no score, but uh, that's kind of elementary after that ride. I, I've never seen anything like that. Look at him, man. You know, he knows how to ride. He just got whipped out of shape. He tried to do too much. Now he's hung. Look here. I mean, Somebody probably long. pay for a ride like that at the carnival if they knew it wasn't on a horse. He was out there. Okay, now you got to get that hand out of that rig. Look at Jim. My little brother reached up there, Jim. unhangs him. I mean, you know, that's a that's a tough way to tough way to shake it. But Robbie, he, ow, see, he stepped on him right there and might have got those shafts. Round and round we go. This have changed old Yellow Jacket's name to the merry-go-round. Oh, another look at it. Smoke, what a ride. <laughs> I just, you know, just let it roll and just watch this. I mean, now, this is dangerous. See, Jim Gay stopped that horse out of that spin. He ran his horse into him. Now watch him reach under, grab his hand. Now just rip it out of there. Ricky Bolin runs over him to make sure Robbie knew he'd been in a wreck. <laughs> Robbie said, after that ride, I felt like a human weed eater. Now from the wild and woolly annex of the bareback riders, let's turn to the calm, controlled grace of saddle bronc riding. Well, at least in theory, it's calm, controlled, and graceful. This is Monty Ashworth, Donnie on shotgun. Good Bronx, new one from Miles City, Montana. She takes a big jump right in here. Saw a yellow flag on the spur. Look out, saddle going over the front. My oh. word! Come on, what a wreck! Look at that saddle. I think 
the horse has got his foot in the stirrup after that. How about that for classic style? <laughs> in a diving competition, yeah. Okay. Now, I missed him on the right side. You see the red flag drop? Now, his saddle's going over, going forward. Now, that is a horrible feeling. How about that? Boom, go walk. Let's look at this side and see if it gets any smoother. Okay, here we go. Up and over. Riding by the seat of your pants. In the shoot, it's Alton Shepard. And the horse, he's on his honeysuckle rose. Haven't ridden this horse this year. He is a big, strong horse. You'll see what a, he looks like, almost like a big Clydesdale. He's big and strong now. Alton Shepard is gonna have it. Look out, Alton, look out. Oh, he's, put, he's hung in his stirrup and got kicked right in the back. Tough landing for Alton Shepard, Dan, and no score is not gonna help him get much more air. And he's holding, uh, looks like air in the left arm and everything else, no score, but he's up, tips his hat and walks off, Donnie. This horse, what's the, what's the front of this saddle? Look at this. Now that you talk about a lot of power, this horse whips him over. Now watch, his foot's hung in a stirrup. Look at the back feet. He is very, very lucky. I know we'll take another look. This is not what you want to happen, but occasionally that it does. And the bronc riding now, his right foot is gonna hang in that stirrup. And that horse just basically just kicks him loose. This is Dub Hill, Panama City Beach, Florida, and he is on Cat. All right, now he's had his horse once before last year when he first started riding. He rode him about two jumps. Here we go. He's about to lose his left stirrup. He's down right down there on his toe, getting along pretty good. The boy just crashed him. Now, Donnie, I couldn't see whether he just pulled out of that early or whether he just, he just got out of time with him. And that national finals bucking horse, you know, they won. He's, he's having a little trouble walking straight right now. The police might stop him if he don't get his back on his back. <laughs> All right, here we go. See, he's out of time. His feet are yeah. back when they should be forward, but he's trying, but that stirrup just comes off. Oh, cat, he just put him down on the ground hard. That dirty face. Kind of hard to track, Donnie. What's he mean? Well, it means that we, we, no one's ever ridden her on a television show, so bear down, Joe. Turn back to the right. Head comes up. And, Whoa! Oh, wow! Man. Did you see his foot hanging that stirrup sure and it just did. slammed him on the ground? A no score, naturally. Joe Belcom gets up, wonders what hit him. Well, I'm sitting here watching. I wonder what hit him, Donnie. I don't know where it went wrong. Okay, watch the position. See the head down with the rain. Now watch your head come up right here. Rain gets long. Watch his foot hang. See his head? Now, look at there. Wow, crack. The bull whip is a new game. Another look at this as he comes around, his head comes up, just jerks him up out of that saddle and curse. Black. Okay, now Casey, young guy, learning how to ride Bronx. Coming to Monty Henson's riding school. Just getting started. Spud's a good horse. Gonna have an easy trip for him, but he's still having his problems and puts him down. Now, Casey just didn't really have another dirty face. Sure was, and I think he left has, glasses, hat, and everything else. Kind of go back and pick up, the, you can tell where he's been. Okay, you know, and here we go, there goes his hat. There's the trail we're talking about, lost the stirrup. There goes his chewing gum, now there goes his glasses, and there he is. Wow. You, so you want to learn how to ride saddle broncs. Let's take this back again, and let's convince you that it isn't for everybody. Curse Platt. Man. I never like riding in glasses, that's dangerous. Okay. He says, okay, they swing open the gate, and here we go. Kind of wrung her head at him a little bit, stuck it up in the air. Mark's trying to get in time with him. He's a little behind, having some trouble. He's double grabbed. Oh, he's in big oh. trouble now, and boy, he hits the ground right on his shoulder. He's knocked Hello. a little bit, uh, well, I'm telling you, that had to hurt. He's tough enough to get up. I guess. Boy, I still, it's a little... Cobwebby out there, 66 points for Mark Vickers, and what a tough landing. That'll move him into second place, but he's probably not figured that out yet. <laughs> I'm telling you, no, let's, I just want to watch and see what hits first here. He's just cracked the whip right on the side of his head and shoulder, and I know that feeling, Mark, it doesn't feel none too good. And this horse has never really lived up to his reputation. My dad paid a little over $8,000 for this horse at the national finals a year ago. And he's never really bucked here like, like his reputation. Rocky's been off a year, 
Okay, get him moving. Quick horse over up. Rambo's bucking pretty good here tonight. Rocky slopping a little. Look out, look out. Oh. I think pretty good Donnie, swan dive. That he's stayed on there long oh. enough. He's picking up a little bit of everything. It was right at the buzzer. He's still walking a little sideways. Yes, 69 points for Rocky Ogletree. Okay. And there's the spur out. He took no chances. Got him a little quick, actually. Now, little horse, you want to have fast feet. This kind of horse Monty Henson likes to draw because you can really show off some ability. Rocky, now he gets stood up. Ah, oh, boy. He's ripped off that number, pinned on his back with the safety pins. He's going to hit. It's kind of hard on the wardrobe. Oh. Hard on that right what side. What a shot there. This horse really wants to be a good one. Now, he, his reign looks a little bit short. Look at his horse jump and kick. My dad bought this horse. He's really high on him. Come on, Michael, yeah. stay in there. Whoa, wow. my. How about flatten out your posterior? Yeah, I guess so. Little one-point landing right on you-know-what. Trying to beat 75, get 71 points. Michael. Good spur out. And see his rein, it's down just a little bit low. Got to see his body forward. Yep. You want to be back just, you know, that's just like two inches. That's two inches on the buck rein, stood him up and uh, splat. Ooh, ouch. Boy, what a shot. That I always so. reminds me of those Batman shows. Kapow, zap, boom, <laughs> kablooey. <laughs> Crash. This is Joe Belcom on Whatchamacallit. Well, I don't know, but he'll, oh my, he's down, he's underneath. Look out, Joe, get your foot out of the stirrup. How about another hat for the trip to Ricky Bowlins? <laughs> that just looks like a bad home movie right there. Joe Belcom, the left foot, watch it get stuck in the stirrup after he falls down. Okay. Ooh, right on that toe. See, he's trying to get that right one. Ouch. You're looking at Rocky Ogletree. What's the name of this horse, Donnie? Chief Tyhe. Chief Tyhe, paint horse now. Good saddle bronc. Rocky been riding bronc a long time, took a little while off. He's getting a little tall in the saddle, but now he's back in time. Horse is turning back with him a little bit, spinning. Look out, Rocky, look, he's just about to go over the... Boy, lit right on his arm. He sure did, Donnie, and he is holding on oh, to that arm. He can't get up. He's, he, he hurt his arm. That's not a... He talk about a tough kid. Boy, he's still holding on to it. And, Donnie, that ride's so unorthodox. 65 points for take, Rocky Ogletree. He's going to take the lead, but, you know, sometimes it just doesn't feel good. Okay. Little loose right here. Now the horse is kicking. He starts to get in time. Now he just drops down into a spin. That's a bronc rider nightmare because you can't really spur. You can't get off now. Watch this. Oh, oh yeah. gosh. Oh, my Ball. goodness. He broke his arm. Herman Brune is coming up next on Jersey Lily. Columbus, Texas. He's got one of those colts my daddy's trying to raise and get some new bucking horses. Look at here. Oh, oh, boy. He my. did hit solid. Oh, Dave's coming out there. Herman, he's, he's hurt. Let's see if we can't get another look. We got uh, the paramedics, the Justin Healers out there, Dave Appleton, another cowboy. See them cowboys kind of look out for one another. Let's take another look at this till we can see if we can get some word. Now he stands him up in the saddle. Boom, just crashes right down on the ground. Just doesn't get that arm out there. And his head just bounced off the ground. Looks like it might just knocked him out. Hope it's not any more serious than that. Try another angle. You don't think Jersey Lily don't like to jump up in the air. Up until now, we've watched the misfortune of cowboys on horses and bulls. Next, we'll see how they fare in the timed event competition. Now, steer wrestling always produces its fair share of wrecks, and last season at Mesquite was no exception. Byron Walker from Ennis, Texas. Former world champ, he knows how to do it. Reach out there, look out, Byron. Oh, oh no, oh, man. boy. Oh, what are you doing, Byron? <laughs> He's going after that horse, I believe, Donnie. It looked like the horse just started to pull out. To I think the it's his hazer. I think his hazer let that steer get away from really? him. Really? Woo! Whoever it is better keep Let's on going. Let's watch this again. Let's see. Where's his hazer? His hazer's way out. Byron says, oh, no. Oh, no. Now, you talk about a load. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye. Yeah. What about it, Byron? Let's take another. I got to look. I got to see this. Okay, reach out there. 
Now, don't be talking to your horse, Byron. Oh, my, you talk about pound the ground. What did he say? Look at that horse's ears, and he's looking up there. Okay, let me out of here, he says. All right, here we go, EJ. You're leaning Whoa, a little bit far. EJ. And I don't, did his horse go out a little wide on him down there, or did he just miss? Well, I'm not really sure. We'll get, maybe get a chance to get our cameraman to roll this one back for us. Right on the barrier, great start. He's leaning forward, his horse widens out to the left, and he just, uh, well, I don't know, your arm's a little bit short. He didn't, <laughs> he couldn't hang on, but it was a good roll. Dan Carroll from Spring, Texas, Donnie. All right, big Danny. Uh oh, he's still running left. Move your horse back over, Danny. Oh. Don't do that. Man. See why he where he blowed him out of his knee brace. Well, his horse went to the left, and I guess the steer just went to the right, but uh, they never made a connection. Watch this again. Now, he moves his horse to the left, but he moved him too far. He did that himself. Now, let's see if he changed his facial expressions. Boom, there goes the knee brace. Oh, Whop. Pow. Who says it's easy on that end? Okay, he's won here once. Big guy feels that sure pretty good. Get on by there, holding that horse in a little. All right, put on the brakes. Whoa, that's a hula hand. That isn't a legal fall. He winds up on the wrong side. See our cameraman in the arena, not missing any of the action. No time for J.P. Clayton. Well, we've talked about it before, Donnie. We heard the crowd applause a little bit. They thought that's a throw, and it is not. No, he got his feet behind him. Now, you push all the pressure, and that steer just hangs a horn in the ground, and that's called a hula hand fall, not legal. You have to let him up and throw him again. We'll get another shot of this. This is... Uh, not something that you want to do every day because it's really not a, a good feeling because at this point, there's nothing you can do but stay with it. Look at Steve Markram from Keller, Texas. All right, reach out there, Steve. Now put your feet down slightly. No, oh, no. Man. That's like grabbing a runaway freight train. His feet just didn't get everybody stopped, Donnie. I don't know if he got him out in front of him far enough or not that time. Had a no time. I'd like to see that again because he had his feet moving now. All right, Steve, leaning a little forward. Now get your feet out front. See if that horse goes on by. Let's see the stop. Hey, that, that left foot was just buckled behind him. He never got both feet out in the front and just got freight trained. Watch his left leg buckle. Watch his face hit the ground. <laughs> All right, guys, Lee Spencer, Crandall, Texas. This guy knows how to bulldog. Old Gray's oh, a little late. late. All right, look wow. out! Man, he's still hanging on. Now, this is why we call it steer wrestling. Steer's not that big. Leap, reach up there and pull him around. There you go. <laughs> yes. That's the culmination of a, in the end of a long night. It's a good thing the drummer was getting tired. 17.8 seconds for Lee Spencer. He just started a little behind, it looked like, Donnie. Gray Horse just got a late start, time to catch up. Now, don't think this doesn't happen quick. You don't have time to think this, curse. splat, everybody, 700 pounds of beef going over the top of you, and you see the money flying out the window. J.W. Aldrich from Stony Creek, New York. I wonder where he got time to practice. Oh. Whoa, my! He must have missed the mailbox. <laughs> Time. All right, JW, let's watch this back. He just starts down too late and the steer sets. Steer felt him coming and he just missed it, and that is not a good feeling. Skip Catlin. Waller, Texas. Oh boy, howdy, what a shot. Oh, what a shot. His right arm, Donnie, it's still feeling the pain from that one. Man. Let's watch this. Watch this steer stop, throw his head into him. Hazer hit him. The Hazer hit that steer and bumped him and just knocked him loose, and that had to hurt. Watch the hazing horse. Reach over, he just makes contact, and he just hit that steer turn and just drove it right back into him. He said, oh, me, let him go. Well, folks, every year we start and end our tape with bull riding. Let's watch now as the Mesquite Rodeo Bulls show us why a mama should never let her babies grow up to be cowboys. He's kind of a funny looking bully, real docile. I don't know what he's gonna do under the lights. Let's see. Whoa, Whoa. comes out behind him. Check that bull. How about jump and kick over the moon? 
Jekyll West oh. is still looking for some He's solid ground. Oh, no, boys. Just grab that rail, Whoa, West, West, and Whoa, hang West. on. Boy, he hit, and to his credit, he got up and walked off. Not a straight line, but he okay. walked off. Look at his feet. Left foot just clicked up behind him. Check this bull jump in the air. Wow. Now, that'll get your attention. Wes Howard, he hit the ground pretty solid. He sure did. Look at his left foot. Lucky he didn't get hit with a horn and just whap. Really did hit that ground hard. Here comes Jeff Roberts on Mission Impossible. Okay, Jeff, get a hold of him. Look out, oh boy, down, Ooh. stepped on. Get up and run. Wow, kind of a double whammy for Jeff Roberts. Look at that mark on his back, Donnie. That wiped out a real pretty shirt. He won't want to ride in that anymore anyhow. Watch this back, this gets jerked to the outside. Now jerk down. Look at the power. Lucky missed that horn. Wow. Oh. That was a glancing blow. And they don't come much better than this one. Red Rocker, Eric Donahue is on his back. Boy said, you know, he said, this bull's tough and I got nothing to lose. I'm supposed to be overmatched, but I'm going to try. That's all it takes. You never know. But oh. he's whipped down. He's oh, hitting the belly. No. Red Rocker putting it on him. Jimmy Anderson just steps right in between them. Red Rocker does that a lot to these guys. He's a tough bull. Kind of makes you rethink that I got nothing to lose deal. Eric Donahue, no score. Watch this bull's power when he jumps out. Hesitates, sets him back, now boom. That just nearly hit that horn. Oh, now he hooks him. That's just a little love tap. This bull can really put it on you. You want to keep moving when you're on the ground. That could have been dangerous getting hit. Now just kind of straighten him up, but he stepped on his shaft, sir, and he couldn't get loose. And looking at Fred Rubio getting set to ride on Stingray. Okay, now, Fred hadn't made the whistle there. He's the one that's got that NFR bound on his glove. Oh, no! Jerked down, whipped over oh. the front, just mucked out in a hurry. Rough way to get to the NFR. Look out, Frank. He's taking the long way around. Fred holding on to anything he can get a hold of. Out of there, finally has somebody even help him with his hat, Fred Rubio. Just whipped back on the end of his arm. Not a, not a good, oh man, he nearly got his head stepped on. Oh, Fred, don't even watch the replay. We'll watch it for you and tell you just how lucky you are. My word. This is Eric Williams on spec. All right, now Eric's a good bull rider. Spec's a good little young bull. Wants to turn back. He's gonna do it quick. He's in trouble. To the outside now. Get up, Eric. Whoa, Keep right. moving. Eric must have heard you, Donnie, because he did. Keep moving. Really did come out of there with a zero score and a tour shirt. Now watch this little bull get with the program. Left foot comes out. He's to the outside. The bull feels him. He's in trouble. Now, hit the ground. Keep moving. Don't ever stop. Don't get laying flat on the ground. Mike going, riding Moody Blues. He said, let's go, boys. I really like this bull. Round to the right. He's a good draw. Come on, Mike. Get the money. Look out. He's going down in. Oh, Ooh. boy. Wow. Oh, me got hit hard. He still looks a little dizzy there to me, Donnie. Just that little, whoa, Ron. I mean, it looked like the lights were on, but nobody was home right there. Come on, Mike. It was Woo. that last shot that he got, it looked like, that really sent him flying. Well, he's up and all right. Cobweb's gone. Watch this. Now, this is prosperity gets him. Mike's not wanting very much money. He's riding real good. And he said, oh, I'm in too good a shape. I better move and do something. That was a mistake. That right horn just hit him right in the back. Knocked him loose. Watch this right horn as he goes down in the well. Now, he's riding real good. Now, just raise your free hand up. Just raise it up. Watch this shot. Yeah. Right in the back. This is Kevin James on Creole. Good bull rider, and this bull really wants to buck. He doesn't kick a lot when he spins. That looks good. Look out, Kevin, going down in the well. He's hung. Get your hand loose, bullfighters are coming in to help. Oh, Look out, his foot hung in the rope. That's how you got adenoids. kicked right in the lower stomach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy, it's rough all over. Let's watch this back again now. Round to the right, he's in trouble. Goes down inside to spin, his foot went back. 
It's hung in the flank. It's not in the bull rope, it's in the flank. Look at this, look, it's already hung up. Now watch this. You talk about want to do some dry land skiing, that will get you, that could have been a whale of a wreck. Okay, nice little young new prospect. This bull hadn't been bucked many times, but wants to buck. Look at Sticker Wiggins, turn that bull right back. That helps Tony make it, and that, oh, he's away from his hand. Look at that. Whoa, boy, how about a sudden stop? Get down Frank McElvain, they were coming hey, right at good you. good looking shirt, how about that? Flashy looking shirt and a good looking ride. Let's take one more look at it here, Donnie, Tony Boo. Yeah, I wanna see him plaster that shirt. He's lucky the front of the barrel's not stuck to the buttons after this. Okay, nice turn by Sticker Wiggins, gets that bull to gather some more points, but now he's away from his hand, let's watch this. Now, his hand's in a rope. Oh, that's a curse God. flat, wow. Right, well, let, let, watch his take, legs, Donnie, this time when they hit one that One more barrel. look here, okay, now coming around. Oh, uh. my. Daryl Baker on Gunslinger. Now he's ridden this bull before, now you want to come around to the left, looking real good, Daryl, you're riding him dead easy. Oh, oh, look out, into his hand. Oh, whoa, Daryl. All that atmosphere and he can't get any of it, he hit hard. Looks like he hit Donnie right on his head or on his shoulder. Maybe we'll see in the replay, but he hit hard. Riding this bull easy, in good position. Bull jump, kick, turn back. He's in good position now. Sets there, bull makes it in a tight turn. He doesn't recover, now watch. Hangs onto that rope a little long and just right off, right, just pulls him up like an accordion. Jeff Roberts from right here in Mesquite, Texas, and a very good bull, Harlem Shuffle. Now, now he's had some shoulder problems. He rode a tough bull at rodeo last week, got hooked, and uh, probably shouldn't be entered, but uh, he said, hey, man, Harlem Shuffle, I'll get on him anytime. Come on, come oh, on. Put him down, hit him right in the head. Boy, he took a shot there, and Donnie Harlem Shuffle was doing what he wanted him to. He was... Had a good ride set up for him, but Jeff just flew out of there. You heard him say, I'm all right. You could read his lips. Well, he's, uh, you know, that's adrenaline pumping now. Okay, toes turn right straight out. He don't have his legs against him. Now the bull backs up and top that horn hit him just right in the top of the forehead, but it's a good kid. Let's check the other angle. Okay, his feet come out right there. Boom, and he just hit that horn, but not, not, not too solid, but solid enough. It's Jambalaya. Joey Job is the man on his back. Good young cowboy. He won here once in 1988 with a 77 score. You know he's got the ability to ride. Jambalaya, nice little bull. Spins left usually. Okay, here we go. Joey starting around. Don't get down in too far. Joey, look out. Boy, oh, got him pulled down into the well and gave him a shot for his trouble. Joey down early and not going to get a score. Jambalaya enjoying his time in the light. Got there playing with the guys and no score for Joey Job. He's over there going, well, I got out of that anyway. Got out lucky. Now, his hand's a little down on the side. You think that'd keep him out of the well. Well, it doesn't really because it makes you want to lean just a little further down in the well. He's just lucky his hand comes out and had to look jambalaya right between the eyes. Hmm. It looks just like slow motion, Donnie. Him just slipping, slipping, slipping. Oh, it gets a shot. Pretty good shot in the back. Didn't get stepped on. Look at the bullfighters. And Billy Bob is the bull, Donnie. Roddy asked me about this bull. I said, well, he's a good one. Hadn't anybody ridden this bull this year, but he spins to the left, riding, riding. Bear down, I said, but find you a good place to get off, because he will get in your britches if you're not careful. He's a mean. He got it going. Yeah, Come on, right. Right. go ahead, Roddy, go ahead. Oh, oh look out. Man. He got, oh, no, look out. Oh, he just, oh got stepped on right oh. off the fence, too. Hey. He took about three shots he's up in the there. air, and he's already. He's hurt. He's hurt. Yes, sir, he is hurt. Billy Bob, I want to see this back. We'll get, we'll find out about Roddy. Hope he's okay. Man, I'd like, okay, let's watch this back. Because he's riding him dead easy, and I want to see why. He had to lose his bull rope, that's why. Yeah. He's riding great, he's right. Right yep. there, look at that. Yep. Just popped the rope out of his hand, down on his horns. I mean, that, that landed on Jimmy, okay. See, the rope pops. He tries to just stay there, takes a hit. Wow. Anderson catches him, Anderson stays right there, but look at this oh, bull. Oh, man. Steps right on him. 
Well, that about wraps up this year's Worst Wrecks at Mesquite Rodeo, and I sure hope you like it. If you did, I believe you'll also enjoy my 1990 Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo home video. It has some great bull and bronc rides, some outstanding timed event performances, and the It Ain't Over Till It's Over section. These are clean rides followed by not-so-clean dismounts. For your copy, here's how to order. Order Don Gay's 1990 Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo now. It has almost one full hour of rodeo excitement. Send a check or money order for $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas 75149. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa or MasterCard orders. Please specify 1990 Best Rides. Sorry, no CODs. Hey, before I go, just a reminder, if you missed order my 1988 or 1989 Worst Wrecks or Best Rides home video, they are still available. Each tape has my picks for that year, so all are different, but each one is full of Mesquite Rodeo action. There's a Best Rides and a Worst Wrecks from each year, 1988 and 1989. Each tape is $29.95 plus $3 each for shipping and handling. Use the address or phone number we showed you a minute ago, and be sure to specify Worst Wrecks or Best Rides and the year you want. And if you ordered all four of these tapes at one time, the price is $115, and I'll pay the shipping and handling. Now, thanks again for ordering this tape. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're ever in our area, come by and see a rodeo in person, and happy trails.